Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Kickstart here to show you guys how to draw the KD10 step by step. As usual to start, we're going to make two squares side by side. Afterward, I'm going to divide those two squares into top and bottom halves. Then I'm going to add a vertical line dividing the bottom right hand quadrant into halves as well as that initial left box into halves. Finally, I'm going to add one horizontal line dividing the bottom quadrants into halves. This will give us all the guidelines we need to draw the rest of the shoe. As usual, you want to look at where I put my lines in relation to where the guidelines are. And you'll see how in certain spots, such as the upper by the tongue, I'm going to go over it a few times because I notice as I'm working with it, it doesn't look too right. Again, that's the beauty of using pencils is that you can fix these things as you're working through them. And the main thing for the outsole is to use that horizontal line that we placed last as a guide to see how the outsole should go. Notice how towards the heel, it's a little bit above the line, and as it goes towards the toe, it dips down underneath that line. Next, I'm gonna add that side panel that's gonna have the swoosh within it. And again, I know everybody watching this video knows what the Nike swoosh looks like, so if it doesn't look good when you first try it, just keep going over it until it looks right. And then when you finally go through and you outline it with the marker, keep the lines that define the swoosh the best. Next, I'm gonna add the pull tabs that contain the laces. And then on the upper, I'm going to go ahead and add those ridges that are along the sock liner. Now I'm going to go through and actually add the laces. The KD-10 has rope laces as opposed to traditional flat laces, so you want to make sure you give the laces some extra thickness. Especially towards the top where you show a lace going on top of another lace. Then I'm going to go through and just extend the tongue out a little bit more, and you are done. As usual, the rest of the video is going to be going through with a black micron marker to outline the lines. And unfortunately for this video, I'm not going to be going through with the gradient or any sort of coloring. The reason behind this is because if I were to do that, I probably wouldn't have enough time to make sure I keep my daily upload going. It would have probably fell in towards tomorrow. And part of that is because I'm already kind of cutting it late as it is. So if I were to spend an extra 40 minutes coloring in the shoe, and on top of that, it takes about another 30 minutes to upload the footage to my laptop, I probably wouldn't have made the deadline. So it wasn't worth it in that regard. That being said, in the future I do want to make sure that I have those videos done almost a day in advance. That way I can keep it uploading at a consistent time every day and I won't have these problems of cutting it close in a day. Naturally with doing daily uploads, this is bound to happen. So I'd rather kind of get these bumps out of the way first. And also I did notice that there were a lot of comments in my previous video requesting me to do the off-white hyperdunk. So I'll make sure I get that done for my next video tomorrow. As usual though, let me know what sneaker you'd like to see me draw in the description. Again, tomorrow's video is going to be on the off-white hyperdunk, but I'll take note of the comments for the following day's video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, I'd love it if you leave a like. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.